Hello everyone, this is OpenCV using Google Collab. So the first principles is having the import functions added to your code. Once you have the import functions added to your code, you can just run the cell. The most satisfying thing is having the tick X to add new line of code plus code. This session we are going to download an image from the internet and open the image. So let's describe. To load the image, we need a URL. URL equals here is an image that can appear from any website. However, you might test several different address links before you can successfully download a link into Google Collab. Next, we have my image. Basically, you can name this input anything. You can name this A. You can just change this to A. Okay. Then you want to understand there's a function called IOIMP from the URL. So, from ski image import I. And the CV to show import cv2 as cv here are some information about color the color of the image from the cv so you notice towards the end it's gray let me run this code Right, however, this was not the original color, so let's revert to the original color. And how can we do that? Simply by doing the entire expression over here. And then, the two. Just replace it with one information on input. And you run, then you'll have the original image color from the internet itself. However, we do not want to do that to change it to a grayscale, so we follow the instructions here. Next, we want to add a new line of code, and we want to Call this code I am right. Notice that I'm copying and pasting, and it's easy for you to copy and paste too. Codes will be at the description on the YouTube link. Okay, so we have CV2. I am right. Here is a name. It can have any name. Here is the name of that image and then here is the description where we change the original color to gray color so let's just run this and you'll see that there's some error how do we manage to resolve the issue you notice that in the beginning I have a change input, so we change the name to A. Notice that A is already recorded in the database. Now when I run it, it goes to true. Then you will discover the folder 
gray is found there. But open gray and gray matches. However, if I want to change gray to the original image color, double click and remove the function. Fill it with the apprentices and run it again with a tick. You can double click here. Notice image is reset to its original color. So I want it to remain as gray. So I'll input color scheme and I'll Click on my gray image. That's great. I hope you like this video. Like and subscribe. This is open CV using the functions. Now you need to have all, including import CV2, to be able to save the image. So we have included the import function. We have used a link from the internet. And changing the link be as easy as moving the link from here. You notice that I can change a JPG or a ping to a JPG and JPG to a ping. Now let's go and explore for the image. Image size has to be small. Image icon something small. And we have buttons. So we have the trial and error. Right click copy image address. And I'm returning to my Google tool and I'll paste the URL here. And I'll run it to see whether it's effective. Right. So it's effective here. Now I have to do the same thing here. Okay. So notice that my previous image is still present. I'll double click. And it changes. So well done. I hope you learned something. This is uh, Jacob Van Rapp signing.